and uh, we've gone a little over. Good morning, Jeremy. It's afternoon. It's almost evening. So um, I wanted Hi, to see. Yeah. So um, I wanted to give you a preliminary, not a preliminary. I've just released this tour of the Vandendorp annotator, and then next week we'll we'll, we'll chat about Vandendorp, um, which continues to be endlessly fascinating to me. So, um, and I spent weeks building this thing, which I really shouldn't have. Um, but I did, and I sometimes you get caught up in a project and you have to let go. But I found anyway. So, um, and it's designed to help people read a book. And I don't know if this works or not. So I'm interested both in what people think about it and um, you know what they think about the book. So um, basically, what it does, and so you can read and annotate. And I'm going to go back and follow my own advice. Sorry. So I'm going to click home, and um, I ended up. This I think is a is a way for people to make their tiddlywiki behave they want it to behave in a specific way that they want it to. Um, and so, you know, if you were distributing an app, you'd probably control for this. Um, but I, what I like about tiddlywiki is that you can kind of see an app and back back make a step take a step backwards and see the code and jump into the app kind of thing. So now we're into the app and we're going to read the essays and. Um, Actually, I started working in um, SA 10 last night. Um, I'm going to save this. And then my idea, I think, is to, I kind of like it in this mode, but I don't know how to, I want the tiddler to be a little bit narrower. So, but that's a personal preference thing. And I'm sure there's a setting. But, so the idea is that you kind of read, so this just, this is the first paragraph. And you read paragraph by paragraph. And um, and my Firefox is just deathly slow today. Um, and as you come across one that you want to build an annotation for, you click on annotate. So now I'm going to build an annotation about this. And this is, um, and so I might highlight a sentence. And I'm going to say, well, this is an annotation that I'm going to tag with hyper because I've given you four words wiki there's supposed to be an order so i'll have to adjust that and my i didn't follow my own instructions which is to close all these and get rid of all these toolbar buttons which makes it neat but i became too lazy to click on them all to close them so i don't know how to fix that either so you click here and it creates one and what it does is it it opens up a macro annotation gives it a tag hyper gives it a it gives it the first parameter hyper gives it the second parameter the text that you had highlighted and then right now it's giving you a a uh, timestamp that looks awfully like a timestamp, but actually is hard coded because I couldn't get the dynamic timestamp to work. Um, the reason I need that is because I use that to name the tiddler, which hasn't been created. So I've just written, and so this is an interesting, and I'm kind of going on a bit because it's an interesting thing to do in hypertext. This is an example of editing. This is actually an example of wiki, right? So I'm editing, so I don't know what it is. So you click here and you can create an annotation. And so it gives the annotation, the username. So this is an annotation, Steve on paragraph 10,002 as hyper at a particular time. And I would write my, um, so this illustrates the multiple and you get the full, multi, I want to write. And you can save it. Um, and it returns you here, which is, this is the, um, your annotation. You can go back to 10,002, 10,002 and you're, and so now you're, you're back in the reading mode. Um, and that's pretty much it, except there's an annotation navigator and you can navigate. And I built a couple of things here. Um, here's the annotation we just made. And, um, these are all the annotations I've made today. Right. Thought right. We'd chat about them. Um, and then my idea is that, um, and I might turn on my titles again, because now I'm approaching the annotator in a different way. I'm now a writer instead of a reader in a sense, but um, I might clone this text. and begin to edit the clone as my own project in a sense, commenting on my own annotations. Um, so, but the idea students would need to then figure, okay, so I have to edit the macro and learn how to do that. And that's the idea. Mm -hmm. so, um, or you can live with this or an exist, um, which is interesting.
so that's the annotator. And um, I probably learned a lot, including that I think what I could have done there was taken your excise toolbar tool and modified it. Hmm. And that would be a more a simpler, easier thing to do because this effort requires a bunch of stuff. Well, so there's, there we value, there's value in the journey as well as the destination. For me, then, yeah. So this is, so but, but what's interesting now is that anybody looking at this can use this as a learning resource as well about how to write in TiddlyWiki. These are all the things I modified. Mm. So there's, a, there's my toolbars. So, mm. so I can make a toolbar. Um, and these are, this is, this really, the fact of being able to do this, I think speaks to the tiddly nature of tiddlywiki of those four words. Um, can you put any macro in this toolbar? Anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just an object you can do. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is, um, so this is fun. So great. Um, awesome. I've lost my uh, annotator theme. So what I th would like to propose is that we've got about um, three weeks of April and that we, um, kind of talk about the annotations that we get back from those annotating. So I'm going to ask them to, they, they submit them on the 20, the first version of them come on the 17th. So we spend next week talking about my sort of thoughts and processes. And um, then on the 25th or after the 17th and after the, the second, we'll get implementations or wikis and we'll talk about explore federating these annotations. Um, you think it'll work? <laughs> <laughs> We're building as we go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think so. And I think um, the great thing is that you've, um, the killer part of the demo is the annotations by theme page. Um, uh, the, the one that you just cloned. Um, that's, a, that's a killer demo, I think. Right, because it shows the, it shows the reorganized slice and diced content and the value of having them as separate tiddlers. Yeah. And if we can, if we can make the, uh, I, I mean, I can very easily, uh, re sorry. <laughs> we can very easily recreate the, um, federating logic that we did. Last oh, I, I know. I wasn't worried about that. It's like, that's not knowledge that's lost. It's yes. no. <laughs> no, exactly. yeah. Well, thank you very much. Let me, um, Grab uh, if you start recording, I'll tell you a piece of